Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how we can do REST Web Services automation with testing base. Now, when we, are, uh, when we are inside the tool, we can move ahead to the dashboard and open our existing sample which is available inside the tool. You can choose to open up the REST Web Services from here. Now when you open it, there, is, there are a set of commands which, which uh, caters to uh, REST Web Services. So there is one test command known as execute web, REST Web Services over here. So you can search that as well, like this. And once we have included this test command, uh, we, need to f uh, we need to specify our REST Web Services URL over here. And based on that particular uh, URL, I mean, whichever method is supported by that particular URL, we need to select it from here. So in this example, uh, this URL is supporting get method. That's why we are set up over get method over here. And if you have a request header for that particular REST web services, you can specify it in this text area. Right now we don't have that. In the and if you have if you have any uh, body parameters for your request uh, with that particular related to that particular URL, then we need to specify it over here. Like I have over like I have two parameters for the request body and I have specified in, in the key value pair formation over here. And once, once I request uh, this URL to, to the server, whatever the response would be for that particular REST web services, those would be stored in these uh, variables. So these variables would be stored in, uh, I mean, uh, will be storing the response which is fetched from the web services and and the and at the end uh, there's a timeout uh, which we need to specify if if you have let's say if you have a, a web services which takes much more time than specified over here then you can increase your time based based on on, on the complicated complication of the web services so uh, this is a user defined field and uh, uh, this will not this is as it is a timeout this will not wait for this many seconds but as this is the timeout as soon as the request I mean the response uh, would arrive then it will move ahead with the uh, next step execution so once we have sel uh, selected all these fields uh, we can now go ahead and parse the uh, messages which is received by uh, received in the responses so uh, if over here in this test case what I've done over here is here uh, I'm comparing I'm checking that if my response code is uh, 200 which is a pass I mean the response was successful the request was success successful then only you should go inside uh, the condition and parse those messages for me so over here if my uh, condition is 200 then it will go inside and parse the city name for me it will go ahead and parse city longitude for me it will go in the fifth statement it will go ahead and pass the city latitude for me and in the end at the sixth step it will be parsing the weather for that particular city so all of these things I am parsing from the response body and uh, let's say uh, this is I mean writing these expressions can be tricky so if you need help writing these expressions then you can take help from this uh, small uh, mouse over element and that will help you in writing those expressions so once I uh, parse those uh, responses uh, I can I will be removing some of the parameters from that particular uh, variables I mean the responses and and, in the, and at the end what I'll do is I will be printing my weather inside my report so 
over here I have my statement is write message to report that in Moscow city it will be whatever the weather will be it will be printed over here in the mess in the reports so without wasting any much more time we can execute the test case and see how it goes so execution has been completed and reports will be presented now when you move down to the uh, test case layer you can see what all things were passed and what all things were failed etc etc and from here you can see that what were the uh, request and what were the responses so response is this much part and request was this much part and and the response code was 200 that's why it get in that's why it went through and passed our test case so according to that particular URL in Moscow it will snow today so it is printing the weather which is dynamically fetched from the response which we got from that web services so that's how you can do web services automation uh, from with testing with and that's it from my end in this video see you soon